Hodgson Orthopedic Group has developed this video for your reference upon discharge from the hospital as a patient. Today we will be fitting a clamshell or a TLSO for a spinal fracture. It comes in two sections. There is a back and a front, sometimes hard to differentiate, but it would be labeled once you leave the hospital with front, back, top, and bottom because that seems to be the most common problem. The back always has the D loops or the harder plastic part, so that's one way to tell the difference. So how we're gonna put this on is we're gonna have our patient, we're gonna get you to bend your knees up, and you're gonna roll towards the wall there. And this is what you would do as well at home. A nice, nice high roll that makes it a lot easier. What we're trying to do is get the little waist divots to go right in where their waist is so that we're getting the right location. So the easiest way to do that is to try and flatten the brace. Cheater. And you can bring that around. And as they roll, we're gonna push that under. So we'll get you to roll flat back. Set. And it's not uncommon for them to sort of slide out. I'm gonna come around. So sometimes you have to do a second roll and we'll do another roll towards the door. That's it. And this is all part of your spinal precautions. You'd be doing this. Getting that halfway, making sure we're at that waist divot. And we'll flat back. Perfect. So once you have that sort of centrally located, you want it to have it midline, making sure that we're at the waist creases, and then we can start to put the front on. The front goes over top of the back. So this is a really important part, common mistake that people do. And so we wanna make sure that the front is going over top of the back section, okay? There's six straps and three on each side and they're just gonna sound terrible. I'll get my assistant here. And you're just gonna feed those through each one of the D-loops. It doesn't matter if you start top or bottom. You're not going to do them tight, you're just going to touch them down at this point. And what we're aiming for for tightness, we usually don't mark the straps because it's something that changes on quite a regular basis. What we're looking for is a two fingers underneath for tightness. That's sort of our guideline that that's the, how much tightness we want in it. It's just going to be snug, doesn't need to be tightened with all your might. You just want it to be a touch tight, touch snug. I'm not pulling this, I'm just sort of making sure that they're in contact. Okay, so same sort of thing we were looking at is to come down onto your pubic bone so that we're encapsulating our ASIS or the hip bones and it should be setting up just below the sternal notch of the little divot in your, in your chin here, okay? So once you've got the front and the back all sort of clamped together, what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a side log roll and get the person up. So roll in on your side with your knees up, knees over the edge like a teeter-totter, and pushing up on your elbow and sitting. Perfect. And what you're looking for is to make sure that we're not um, pushing too far down on the on the uh, cushions down here if you're on a soft couch or bed or anything like that and we're not digging in too much here. And you can stand up there, Sonia. Perfect. And so it's going to be quite snug. You'll feel the tightness in your breathing, but this is the amount of stability that you're going to need for your spinal fracture. And any questions? Know where to call.